ho visto centinaia di flying bridge e raramente sono rimasto così colpito dal ruolo fondamentale. I've seen hundreds of fly bridges and I've really been so impressed by the essential role of openings and windows that make the boat as aesthetically light as ever. This is Ferretti Yachts 860, designed by Filippo Salvetti. Each section of this yacht shows new nautical forms and details that create an innovative but still harmonious and delicate style, without distortions that would, as we know, have a short-lived interest. On the upper deck we find a jacuzzi. To relax under the sun there is freestanding furniture and you can move under the shade of the hard top for an aperitif or to have lunch. Keep in mind there is also an opening version. The furnishings are by Rhoda and the piloting seats by Poltrona Frau. The guardrail has been made more elegant with the gunwale and a dark profile at the top. There are many black features that decorate the hull. The deck chairs are signed by Pinin Farina. At the bow we have a transformable area that can be used as a sun deck or lounge. The area can be shaded by an awning supported by carbon poles. The beach club covers an area of 30 square meters and in the garage there is space for the 395 centimeter jet tender and for the jet ski. In the cockpit we have a table, seating and a wet bar. The crowning element is made of crystal to let the view of the sea come through. The same concept is experienced in the living room thanks to very large and partly opening windows. Based on your style, you can choose between two types of decor, contemporary or classic, and between three layouts suggested by Idea El Talia, who took care of the interior design. The furnishing elements are modern and not at all bulky, allowing us to feel free and comfortable. Here, space is not just a perception, but a reality. There is a 75-inch television and a table that can fit up to eight people. Do you know which is the most important environment when you're at anchor? For me, it's the kitchen, because I don't have the possibility to choose a restaurant. And Ferretti has thought of three solutions, all designed by Ernesto Meda. A traditional kitchen only open on the passageway. Another option is that of a kitchen also open towards the living room or simply a bar area, and the actual kitchen is set on the lower deck. The steering area is separated so that the captain is not disturbed, but if anyone wishes to participate in the navigation, they can do so from the opposite side of the wheelhouse. Below deck, the contemporary environments are defined and finished with the latest interior design products. We are on board a boat of 27 metres overall, and a yacht of this category must necessarily reserve an apartment for the owners. The room has full beam and has lots of storage units, relaxation areas, walk-in closets, and a bathroom, which, for greater convenience, is divided into three areas. Two double cabins and one twin are dedicated to guests. One of these is the VIP, which is larger and more comfortable, but the other is also very comfortable and still has an ensuite bathroom. The cabin, which could be replaced by a kitchen, is a double with twin beds. 
The crew quarters consist of two cabins with two beds each and two bathrooms. Ferretti Yachts, Ferretti Yachts has CE certification in Category A, which is the highest marking in the European Union. I hope you never have to face unexpected situations like waves up to four metres high, yet just in case that does happen, this boat has been designed and built to be able to overcome them. It can be fitted with two man engines from 1800 to 2000 horsepower. In this case, we have the most powerful ones. They are 12 V cylinders. The technical equipment is completed by gyroscopic stabilizer and stabilizing fins. On the dashboard, there are three SIMRAD displays on which you can control the whole boat, check the navigation charts and the engine instruments. Not only that, there is also the digital manual with search for functions through text or images. Engines at 1400 RPM, the speed this time is 13.5 knots. Consumption is 16 litres per mile. Engines at maximum cruising speed are at 2050 RPM. Speed is 24 knots. Consumption is 25 litres per mile. The range at this speed is 280 miles. And now, following sea and full throttle. The wheelhouse is the center steer by wire electronic one with the automatic return of the steering wheel to the center. Once you have established your course, it is maintained automatically. The maximum speed of the engines is 30 knots. 